everyone, and welcome to Storytime with the Amsterdam Free Library. Today we're going to be reading Groundhog Stays Up Late by Marjorie Kyler and Jean Castles. Groundhog was not the kind of groundhog who liked to hibernate. To him, making a winter burrow was boring. Gathering and storing food was boring. And most of all, sleeping all winter long was boring. Instead of preparing for winter, he liked to play hide and seek with the rabbits, possum with the possums, and tag with the bumblebees. Why do you even bother to hibernate, chattered Squirrel. You'll never ready when winter comes. You should be looking for nuts and seeds right now. I don't think I'll hibernate this year, said Groundhog. But you have to, said Badger. How else will you wake up on February 2nd and look at your shadow so we know when spring is coming? I don't need to hibernate to do that, said Groundhog. Bear shook his shaggy head. Well, don't expect us to give you shelter when it snows. Or food when you get hungry, said Squirrel. Or warmth if you get cold, said Badger. Finally, winter came. Groundhog's friends curled up in their homes for long winter naps. But not Groundhog. He stayed outside. Soon, it began to snow. Wow! Snow! yelled Groundhog. Time to play! Hare ran by. Want to make a snowman? asked Groundhog. No silly, said Hare. I'm racing to my woodpile until the storm's over. Weasel ran by. Want to have a snowball fight? asked Groundhog. Forget it, said Weasel. I'm scampering to my hole where it's warm. Fox ran by. Want to build a snow fort? asked Groundhog. Not now, said Fox. I'm running to my den to get dry. What a bunch of stick in the muds, said Groundhog. As the weeks passed, Groundhog built a snowman threw snowballs at trees, and made a snow fort. But Groundhog was getting very hungry and very thin, which was making him very cold. Most of all, he was getting very lonely. So one day, just before Christmas, he padded over to Badger's burrow. May I come in, he called. Badger opened one eye. No, I'm too busy sleeping. <sighs> Groundhog scurried to Squirrel's hole. Hello, Squirrel, he said. How about sharing a few nuts? Squirrel twitched his tail. Not now, he said. I'm taking a nap. Come back in the spring. Groundhog finally burrowed through the snow to Bear's cave. Wake up, Bear. It's me, Groundhog, he called. Bear turned over and wiggled one ear. Go away, he growled. I warned you not to bother me. Poor Groundhog. So hungry. So cold. So lonely. All night long he stayed awake. But that night, as he shivered and shook, he began to get an idea. An idea that would put food in his belly and give him friends to play with. A few days later, the sun came out and the snow started to melt. Groundhog climbed to the top of Hollow Hill and pointed his nose to the sky. He opened his mouth and yelled, Spring's come early! Let's celebrate! The animals poked their heads out of their dens. They wriggled out of their burrows. They crawled out of their holes. How wonderful to have an early spring! Even though it was cold and there were patches of snow on the ground, spring was on its way. They gathered all the food that they had stored in the fall and carried it outside. Groundhog was waiting for them. Happy spring, he lied. I didn't see my shadow, so spring is coming early. Let's eat! Hooray, yelled Bear. Hooray, shouted the other animals. They laid all their food on a big stump. Groundhog dove into the dried berries and nuts and seeds. Soon, everyone was eating and celebrating. That is, until something unexpected started to happen. 
a snowflake fell from the sky, and then another, and another. Soon the snow was swirling around them like tiny stars. I thought spring was coming early this year, complained Squirrel. I'm getting very cold and very tired all of a sudden, moaned Bear. I need to take a nap, said Badger. Squirrel skittered back into his hole and looked at his calendar. It was only January 2nd. Groundhog played a trick on us, he yelled. It's not February 2nd. Groundhog Day is a whole month away. What a nasty trick, cried the animals. Groundhog should be punished. But Groundhog didn't hear them. He was so sleepy after his big meal that he crawled into his burrow and had fallen fast asleep. And he slept, and he slept, right up until February 2nd, when his eyes popped open for Groundhog Day. He stepped out into the fresh air. The snow had melted, the birds were singing, and buttercups dotted, dotted the woods with color. It's spring, said Groundhog. But when he looked down at the ground, he saw his shadow. It was a little strange and a funny color, but it had to be his. Nuts, he said, six more weeks of winter and he returned to his burrow and went back to sleep. The other animals came out of their hiding places. Our trick worked, said Badger. That shadow we've painted sure fooled Groundhog. While Groundhog slept through spring, his friends enjoyed the sun warming their fur and the breezes ruffling through the trees. But did Groundhog learn his lesson? No. The end. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you for the next video.